today, this is day three, is to run for about uh, three hours. And for three hours, I will need uh, an iron leader with uh, fluid. And I'm aiming for a thousand milligram of sodium per liter. Yeah, so I'm about ready to go. I fill this up as a next lid with the ice cube. 10 liter of water. And also have a two kilo with the ice cube. Yeah, my goal is to do 20, 21k. The issue is that there are no shops anywhere along the line. So I have to be uh, critical on the hydration and uh, cooling. So I'm running now with a neck with ice. In my bag I have 4 liter fluid and I have 2 uh, kilogram with ice. It's a heavy bag but uh, that has to be the case. Looks like this, quiet, no cars, wide roads. The only animals I see are goats. Hello! <laughs> Today I'm, uh, I need to be more focused on the fluid than yesterday. So I will really stress to uh, drink 3 liter per hour. So that means a lot of drinking today. And with a heavy backpack, 4 liter fluid uh, with me and to kilogram with ice it will be a tough challenge before the next uh, possible shop and I hope that that shop is open that should be in uh, three hours time I've now done 40 kilometers now it's up 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 it's really remote here Not many cars, but a fantastic road. Uh, the heat is uh, still on, but of course I feel that uh, as soon as I get higher and higher, it's more windy and feels uh, colder. Okay, so I have now done uh, 21k. <coughs> I'm sitting in the uh, in a cafe and had, lucky me it was open and I'm the only one here so now I order a chicken burger and fries and just need to take some uh, some minutes off and then I will uh, continue to talk okay I'm now at uh, 33 kilometers, <laughs> close to Omani, just uh, crossed the security point for uh, Armed Force, UAE. Got a bottle of water and they allowed me to continue. <laughs> nice people. Yeah. Yeah. I'm now at 34 kilometers. And I'm not sure if uh, if this uh, fence is the uh, border to Oman or not. So, no. I'm not going there. Let's go back before we get stuck. The plan was to go to the, one of the, the highest points, and uh, I'm not sure which of these tops that are. But I think now that I'm on the border and that I should go back. Yeah, so let's uh, let's return. I will not go into that, even if the gate is open. I don't know. 
And another thing is that I don't have a headlamp. I need to uh, run back to one of the restaurants and ask for a lift down. So I hope that uh, I can do that before it's getting too dark. Yeah. These mountains are really brutal. Draw. Extremely cold. Down here, spectacular. What a view. And down again. Too bad that I didn't bring the headlamp. So it will be interesting to see how dark it will be. I'm going all the way. It's really dark here, suddenly. Yeah, we, uh, we make it complain for light, light, light and all the things. Yeah, this is uh, day four. Yep. I have done uh, 8K. I think I'll just run back and uh, call today. I've been uh, tired. I think it's uh, lack of quality sleep. So now I just want to run back, take the cab, eat, eat a lot of protein, uh, relax and have a nap and uh, then go for a big uh, longer uh, run tomorrow <sighs> yeah. yeah so now i have a call today Close to 16 kilometers. Just called my uh, tax call my taxi on WhatsApp on this remote location. We should be here in uh, five minutes or so. How the weather? Weather? It's uh, good. It's nice. It's, it's not a too bit hot. Much. No, but uh, I need a hot weather. <laughs> it's too cold in Norway. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is day five. Uh, I'll start now. It's 10.40. It's hot. Uh, my bag is uh, four kilo with water and two kilo with ice. So six kilo, six and a half. It's a bit heavy. But uh, that's the only way we can do this. Now it's uh, two, two and a half hours to the next uh, possible uh, stop where I can buy. 
So now I will just take on my uh, hat and my uh, eyes. Yeah, I've done uh, clean half K. Now I just need to uh, take a break and, uh, and refill my eyes. Yeah, <clears throat> another break. Uh, it feels really hard. Uh, <coughs> I think it's uh, I don't know running here with uh, starting with more than uh, seven kilo in my backpack, <coughs> and uh, with the forty plus, <sighs> that is a bit too much for me. So, I've done many breaks. Need to uh, refit my eyes around the neck every uh, three, four kilometer. And uh, try to drink uh, two, two liters per hour. So now I'm <coughs> 10 kilometers up. I think I'll do another 10 and then I will. Uh, Run back. This is heat training. And now, really good to just sit down and uh, eating. And, uh, and uh, have some ice cube. must not pass this point or cross the line. So now it's 24. <clears throat> okay. Have uh, order some food, sandwich and uh, noodles. My plan now is to have a good rest, eat and then uh, run down again. I'm the only one here. Yeah, I had a long break. About an hour. Very uh, nice uh, place. Had a good chat with an uh, Indian uh, chap. Uh, and now uh, it's uh, around five o'clock and I can definitely feel this colder. It's really big difference compared to lunch today. So we'll see what's happening. The issue here is that uh, there are 24k to a good uh, taxi stop. But it uh, could be that I'm uh, asking someone for a lift. I've, I've done my training for today. So today's purpose was really to uh, push hard uphill with heavy backpack in the, in the heat. That is done. Now it's more uh, downhill, and uh, yeah. if I manage to get a lift to have an early day, then I'm fine and happy. So I'm able to see the England game today in the Euro. Yep. The roads here are uh, swinging.
down here we're going I don't have any ice now don't think I need it along the way here you'll see uh, And to the top, there are plenty. It is only starts uh, at the half meter top ish. And there are several of these uh, public restrooms male and female. Yeah, it's really uh, special here. It's uh, never seen uh, these uh, rock formations. It's a bit crazy. With all uh, fancy cars going uh, up and down like a race. i never seen that many expensive cars as well. And a lot of nice people. Many people uh, waving, thumbs up, clapping. Yeah, it's uh, it's fantastic. So now I'm just going to cruise down to uh, either uh, 48 or uh, 50 something, and then do a cab to the hotel. Yeah. I always forget to bring a headlamp. It's a lot darker, quicker, Middle East than in Norway, of course. Next time, lessons learned. Headlamp and reflective vest. Okay. Yeah, uh, this is the last day, day six. <clears throat> uh, I tried to run, but ended up with uh, more walking. Uh, I did not have any ice around my neck. Uh, I did not bring my uh, backpack. So now I'm only relying to uh, run uh, by uh, grocery stores. And uh, yeah, so now I'm a bit off. So uh, yeah, the heat is uh, is a dangerous thing. You can't really uh, move too much if you're out of liquid and out of uh, ice. Then you can easily be uh, dizzy and uh, get some issues. So now I'm just walking to the next place where I can buy some uh, where, yeah, where I can buy some uh, water and maybe I should buy some ice as well. Yeah. Today I'm just running in the neighborhood, back in the hotel, gripping. Now it's a short shower. Yes, I'm on my way home. Uh, I missed uh, the bus station, so I have to go to another bus station. And that's around three kilometers from here. It's a bit hot. I'm trying to see if I can uh, get a taxi. <laughs> 